Hi, welcome to Hard Reset Info's channel, the viewers in front of me one by Wacom S size device and now I will unbox it and I'll show you what we have in the box. And I'll tell you about this device some helpful information. So let's open it. So in the box we have the tablet, we have USB cable and we have the pencil and of course nibs for the pencil. As you can see here we have several nibs. I have used device so maybe you will have in the box uh, more uh, nibs. I have only three new nibs. No, I have only two new nibs. One nib is used. Okay. Um, great, let's close it and let's take a closer look of this device. So what we have here? So here we have a paper style, uh, pa pa paper style plate. So when you draw in here, uh, you can you can hear the sound of normal paper. So I think this is the pros of this device. And one of the cons of this device is the micro USB cable, micro USB connector. So uh, you can't connect USB-C uh, USB cable and you can easily damage the US micro USB port. So if you will, uh, if you will not to uh, to good with your tablet, and you can, uh, if you will, insert in. Uh, your USB cable many times you can you can damage the micro USB port as you can see here I have a micro USB port in good condition but maybe it because uh, once who, <coughs> who had this device uh, before me was really good with this tablet so as you can see I have a micro USB in good condition uh, so what we have here, as you can see here we have dots on our uh, tablet, uh, uh, tablet plate. Uh, so what is these uh, points, dots? So only in these dots we have, uh, we have the workspace. Uh, here, is, we have, here we have no uh, workspace. Wor workspace starts here and here is our workspace. We can draw only in this square. So, uh, not all of this plate is our workspace, but only this big square. Uh, here we have the LED indicator, so if we are connected to our device, uh, this LED lamp will be light and it will mean that uh, Wacom device is connected and it works. So let's check is this device works. So I, I have a new device, uh, so I have used device, <laughs> so I need to check it. As you can see, I have the light here, and and yes, it works. As you can see, it works. So great. I will disconnect it right uh, it now. And as you can see here in our tablet, we have no place for batteries. So uh, the tablet works without batteries. So we have no space to to insert batteries and we have no batteries in this device, it works only with USB connection. And in our stylus we have no batteries too, so uh, this uh, stylus works with inductive te technology, so we don't need to change or rechange batteries here. We just need to write and uh, tablet identifies the place of our stylus using, uh, using magnet ma magnetic technology. Okay. So on the stylus we have two buttons and as you can see we have no buttons on our uh, graphical tablet. This is the con of the uh, Wacom One S device. For example we have XP Pen devices uh, in lower price uh, and with buttons and with USB-C of course. Uh, so this is the disadvantages, uh, d d disadvantage of buying this tablet, uh, but uh, you have really great soft for this device. 
uh, for, for PC and for Mac OS and for Windows and for Linux uh, and with this uh, with the software you will have on your uh, Windows device the re-increase function so you will have opportunity to to set up this ring and of course you can connect uh, co connect me media ring uh, for example Microsoft media ring or Adobe media ring to to use it with your tablet so you can set it up uh, and maybe uh, if you have this ring Mm, buttons on the tablet uh, are useful, uh, useless. But, but for example, I like when I have buttons on my tablet. Great. So, what about pressure sensitivity? So here we have pressure sensitivity 200 points. So 248. Uh, two, uh, so sorry, not 200, but 2000. 2038. Uh, is it great? Um, yes, it's great. Uh, it's just a normal mid-range tablet sensitivity, pressure sensitivity. It's really good, uh, but it's not professional device. You need to know about it. Uh, if you will buy, buy the device uh, one by Wacom M, so in M you will have um, the same sensitivity too, so you don't need to invest in device with more, as, uh, with, with larger, larger display, a larger plate to have great sens uh, better sensitivity. You have the same sensitivity in both sizes of this device. And of course, we have the resolution here. Resolution is uh, important, specification two. And here we have resolution 2050, uh, uh, 2540 LPI. Is it good? Um, it's, it's not too good uh, because, for example, you can buy uh, XP Pen Deco Mini 4 with uh, better uh, sensitivity and with better resolution. Uh, but in Deco devices we have better resolution but we have a smaller workspace. We have the half of the Wacom uh, workspace on Deco Mini devices. Uh, and here we have, we have larger workspace but smaller uh, resolution and a bigger workspace is reducing smaller resolution. So I don't know what is better, smaller workspace or, or larger, uh, larger plate. So I think that is the resolution on this device is really go good. Uh, I will test it, this device. You can watch more videos about this device on our channel. Uh, in the playlist with the name of this device and you can check is it good for you or no so just watch our videos uh, so here we have no multi-touch here we uh, have no express keys as you can see uh, here we uh, have the um, normal uh, uh, electromagnetic resonance uh, technology so it's really good we don't need to recharge batteries and we can connect this device to our computer with Mac OS, with Windows, with Linux, uh, with Android devices and draw. But unfortunately we have no good application to draw in with Android, uh, using Android uh, or iPadOS devices. Unfortunately uh, this device is good uh, for using only with Windows and Mac OS devices. You can watch our video how to use it with Android and iPad uh, and iOS devices, but I know you will don't like it. <laughs> so uh, what we have? Here we have really good tablet, uh, tablet for drawing, type tablet for writing, for example, um, for people who uh, who have the study online, for example, and when you are studying online, you need to write in the whiteboard, and it's not too easy to write with the mouse, and you need to have 
uh, graphic tablet. And here, for example, uh, if you have smaller uh, graphical tablet, uh, but with better resolution, for, 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 for the studying online, for example, it's not so good. So in this situation, you need to have a bigger space to, uh, larger space to draw, uh, but maybe with a smaller resolution, okay? So, let's see, maybe we have, okay, here we have, here we have nibs, as you can see, here we have nibs uh, in our box. We can change nibs, it's very easy to do, so I'll show you how to do it. You just need to open the foil with the nibs, find new nib, here I have old nibs, because I have used device, so don't forget about it. It's very easy to change it, so you just need to, you just need to take this nib out, it's magnetical, but okay. So as you can see, you just need to take old uh, nib out and insert new one. In this way, you can change the nib on your device, it's very easy to do. Uh, so nibs are changeable, uh, you can buy nibs uh, on the Amazon, on the eBay or other online stores. Uh, these devices are very popular and you can buy nibs from other Wacom uh, models. So don't matter about it. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. Watch other videos about this tablet on our channel. And bye. See you.